I guess we could go back to that method. It would be more prone to mistakes, I believe, but... go up to here and go resource revolution hmm. okay resources and this will be the model equals not plus equals come on now dot load We're going to need over here as casting as a game object. Okay. And our and this requires a string, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Load requires string. And what this will be called is where's our my bad. Okay. Yeah, I know it skips around a lot and we got variables, but the thing is I wanna make it clear on what we're actually doing. It doesn't actually make it run any slower either as game object okay and we also got to pause in here so he should instantiate just fine now there is something that we should do for this positioning that is where we're doing the loading and that's great because now we can have a variable down here for that Okay, and that's the great thing about it. A very, very great thing. Because instead of this start position, we can always go uh, Yeah, we'll do this. Because they have to be public in order to be serialized. Vector 3 start L start for loading start in public vector three load rot. Okay, and when we save, we are going to save our player's position. And rotation which is great because we've got this game object okay and that's great because this game object is going to tell us if the player has been instantiated or not and vice versa and gives positional data which is really great and really simple because we're going to go into our save method Okay, save, and then to save, which doesn't exist anywhere. Wait. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. We had classes. Okay, weapon saver. No. Not what we need to save this in. And that's probably something that we did not do. We're going to need a string. A Two vector threes, and I think that's it. String and two vector threes for position and rotation. Because who's 
it's not going to be that great if we have our game where he's in a different position every single time he gets his little ooh, world player. Okay, we already did that. Model, player name. Why are we saving the player name? Ah, it don't matter. But it it does raise red flags for me. Yeah, why are we doing You know what? No, we're not doing it. We're not doing it. I don't care. Player model, that's fine, but we're not gonna pull. No. Ooh, that's. Wait a minute. Now I'm thinking about it. Yeah, that's probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know exactly why we're doing that. Yeah. Because when we go to load up information, that's the reason why. When we load up information, he might have a different. We can call for a script in the beginning and just load each p dot name and put it into a loading method. That's probably why. I don't know. Even if we leave it blank, it's it's just gonna be blank on that data field. It'll be fine. So p dot data. Oh 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 yeah yeah. And we have to go into our method here. Okay, and do a player world. And in our world spawner, we change the weapon saver that we have. Okay, and make sure this doesn't look like garbage. And this. Okay, and this now when we go into our world data class because we're serializing this we can go dot player model which is data that we need and for this script it's called this dot my player fab which is our player prefab it's a string which is very compatible with our data class and thing because you can't instantiate with the string unless you do a resource dot load that's one reason why we just use it and what else are we going to be saving player model just sounds like a good start oh yeah yeah and we need vector threes and that might be the thing because in this part we are probably going to have to do temporary variables for it vector three vector three temp p equals vector 3.0 okay and vector 3 temp rot equals Vector three dot zero, and the reason why we do that instead of our when C sharp goes through the compiler, if we don't put this here and we just have a closing bracket, 
it will whine. It will whine. See? Oh. That's not the reason why it's whining, but okay. Well, whatever. We will go back to our compilers. Okay. Temp never used, this never used, potato variable never used, which is legit. I mean, we haven't used them yet, but that's okay. That's okay. Why are they here? Oh, yeah. Start raw. Um, wait, wait, wait. What? Do we put up? Oh, yeah. We don't, we don't exactly have to do that. We don't have to do temp variables. Yeah, yeah, we could do that. Because we put permit into this one, we can go directly to our data, which is data dot p position equals this dot player go dot transform dot position okay which will give us the world position and the problem with uh, most people make the mistake when they're do saving is they will go into here to transform and dot and they'll go local position that only gives the local position relative to the parent, which is not the world position all the time and can give you issues like not being where you want it to be and go all weird. So don't ever, ever use that unless you absolutely have to. Rot equals this dot player go dot transform dot local Euler angles and remember what this is the rotation is Euler angles and degrees relative to the parent transform which is bad so we do Euler angles the rotation as Euler angles, which is a vector 3, in degrees, which is fine. That's exactly what we want because we know we can serialize that. We know we can push it into an, a document and be just fine. And that's, that's great. I mean, look, we almost have a player position system where it will do this. And the thing about this is we can expand this to do a lot more. We can have it save a list instead, which, you know, baby steps. You know, that's, that's how I look at it, baby steps. Now, in our example, we basically do... The opposite instead of world we do no player world because that's what we're serializing this is the data class and we're deserializing okay and this is completely legit okay now in our script we don't exactly have to do this, okay? But the thing is, I want my script to be 100% understandable on 